the kitchen, the flask, the kettle's boiling. That can only mean one thing. I'll see you at the water's edge. First cast and the single grain of corn has been picked up by a small roach. I've been catching a few small roach, nothing to shout about. All great fun though, of course. And then, right at the very end, it was the last cast. I've drunk my tea, the sun is up now. I'm getting ready to go home. Very, very slight tremble on the quiver tip. I struck, it wasn't a roach. It's in the landing net. What is it? Let's find out. Doing my weekly angling slot on Bayside Radio this week. I described myself as a, a Brie magnet <laughs> and uh, that's certainly true isn't it? Nice fish as well. It's lively. He wants to go back and well that's where I'm going to put it right now. Matt asked a question on YouTube, do I keep my rods made up? I do. Well, I'm about to break this one down, so I'm gonna show you what happens. It's a two-piece rod, so what I do there is to bring the two pieces away from each other, and then you've got that hang in there. Just tighten up a little bit so that, <laughs> You've got the, the hook there. You can slip it over a, a, a rod ring. If it's too tight, like you can see there, just let a little bit more slack off from the reel so that it's not got a, a bend on the rod. Everything's nice and, nice and flat. That's the case there now. Right, and then what I do, let me try and hold that up. It's not as easy when you're filming yourself as if you've got someone there with you. I've got a Velcro band. Get the, the lead into the, the fold of the band there, like so. so. That's up against the rod. Wrap it around a few times and then fasten it. So there's the, the hook there, ready for the next session. Everything's nice and ready. And how easy is that? One of the, the big positives of doing this is that you can do a lot more sessions. So I can arrive at the water's edge and within seconds, I've got the bait on, I'm cast out and I'm fishing. Whereas if you've got your rod down as you would traditionally, you've got to put it together, you've got to thread your line through, set yourself up, go through that particular process. Could take a, a few minutes, of course, at least, but this, is simplicity in itself and it's all part of the big picture as to how you can get more angling in. You can spend more time fishing than setting up. While I fished I noticed a moorhen that was picking up grains of corn from around my feet and so I decided to throw handfuls out throughout the course of the session. And what the bird was doing, very interesting, it had obviously got chicks, so I was sending small grains to it rather than big ones, didn't want to choke the youngsters, of course. But what it was doing was eating itself first and then gathering up grains of sweet corn in its beak and then going off to its nest. That's an important principle, isn't it? You can only give out to others if you're in a good place yourself. You can only be a blessing to others if you're blessed yourself. And it's not selfish to pray for yourself. It's not selfish to want to put yourself in a place of abundance because it's from that place that you can then be a blessing to others. If you're empty, you've got nothing to give. Great life principle there.